and they just keep going. It looks like, oh my gosh. Hey guys, I'm at Five Below and there's a big bag of returns. So I see a bunch of random stuff in here. I'm gonna grab it and take it with me to go through it together with you guys. I took the bag with me and I'm gonna start opening it up to see what's inside. Cosplay wig, it's an interesting wig. Um, it looks like just a bunch of random stuff. There's some toys, pet stuff, which that's really cute from Halloween. Ooh, Christmas, but it's broken. There's a little Christmas headband that would have been cute. And a, another dog, ja this is like a dog jacket, some more pet stuff. And then I did see two of these in here. These look like those ring lights and it's pink, it's inside. And here's another one. This one is green. This is really cool. I'm gonna test it out, see if this one works. I'll show you guys this. And I'll try these too, I'll plug them in see if they turn on and work. Here's a beanie and then some slime. The slime looks, I don't know, looks like it might not be good. Uh, this, I guess, is a bracelet. Haven't seen one of those before. And some more random stuff. I'm gonna quickly check and see if there's anything else and I'll show you guys everything. All right, here's everything I found from Five Below. I'm gonna test these and see, I'm sure they work. But the, some toys and stress toys, there's a bunch of different stress toys here. I'm gonna find a place to try and donate, just drop these toys and stuff off, really all of this. I'm gonna try the pet jacket, see if they fit my pets, but some pet stuff. So a couple of random things from Five Below today. So I'm testing out all the electronics and it looks like they all work. So this one in the back is really cool. It has different settings you can change it to. You can do that and then you can do the flash. So this one's really cool. I like that one. And then these room lights, these work as well. And they have different brightnesses. And here's the pink one. This one changes as well. Oh my gosh, guys, look at my TJ Maxx dumpster. It is so full of really cute fall pillows. There's so many in here. They're just like stacked and they didn't actually destroy any of them. Oh, these are so cute. I'm so excited when I turned around the corner and I saw the dumpster full. I got so excited. Look at all of these. And it looks like they just keep going all the way down. I don't know what's down there, but there's so many pillows. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna start grabbing some out and I'm gonna check the other side, see if there's anything else. But look at all of these, that's crazy. I'm grabbing them. I already have my trunk almost full and they just keep going. It looks like, oh my gosh, they keep going all the way down into that corner too. I think I'm gonna grab as many as I can fit in my car so I can donate these. Okay, well I filled my car up as much as I can. There's still so many left, but for some reason on this side, it looks like they started to destroy them. They got a couple of them down here destroyed, but this whole side still has so many in here. I don't know if you guys can see all of this, but it's still so cool. I just can't take them all, so I'm going to try and tell some local divers about all of this. Okay, I'm back the next day and you can see all of these pillows like this is crazy. The lighting here is not the best, but look at all of these. They're all brand new. They have tags, which most of them are like $20, $25. This one's $15. They are so cute. Luckily, they didn't destroy them because usually they do. But look at all of these go all the way down. I couldn't even fit all of them in my car. So I was able to grab at least 15 or 20 of them, but I tried to show you guys the best I could. When I was leaving after getting these ones, the dumpster was still all the way full, like probably double or triple what I was able to grab. I did let some people know, so hopefully they were able to grab some too, but this is insane what TJ Maxx actually throws away. Okay, I stacked them all up for a better view, but that's crazy. I'm gonna try and find a good place to donate these. I'm looking for a nonprofit I can take stuff to on my Goodwill. So hopefully I can find something like that for all of these because I have no use. There's way too many of them. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hey guys, pulling up to my Ulta and it looks like there's some soup, uh, some soup bags and then there's a damage box. It's all taped up and then, 
another one right here. So I'm gonna go through these and see if there's anything good. Okay, so it's pretty bad this time, but a couple of perfumes so far and then a pack of makeup brushes. Okay, I see this, which I can feel it. It's still in the box. And then there's an Armani perfume. I think it's either a perfume or a cologne. Oh my gosh, I'm finding so many perfumes and clones. This is a polo and then this is a black opium perfume and they look full too. Okay, I just pulled these out, but there's a bunch of stuff. It's all like brand new in the box. I didn't take it out or destroy it. I'm back home now. I cleaned everything up. So you can see there's a bunch of makeup brand new in the box. And then I found a bunch of high-end colognes and perfumes. I'm gonna pull everything out so you guys can see it. I pulled everything out. So I'm gonna start out with the perfumes I found. I found a set of these Philosophy Grace. So there's three different kinds. They did pop the tops off of them, but I can definitely reuse a different top and still use it. I found a set from Ralph Lauren. So there's this one, this one, a YSL perfume, and it's still full. All of these look to be full. The Armani Co perfume. And then there's a bunch of makeup that they didn't take out of the boxes. So just some skin and eye stuff there's also some proactive and more skincare from drunk elephant really nice set of makeup brushes and they didn't cut them or anything and then this thing which i've heard is really good it goes in your freezer you freeze it and then you can use it on your face or body and then of course a loofah so this is what i found at ulta i just cleaned it up made it look nice so you guys can see Hey guys, I'm at my Tuesday morning. Um, my GoPro died, so I'm having to record off of my phone. But it looks like there's a bunch of stuff. There's some stuff on top, like cutting board. It looks like it's not damaged. And then some bowls, some little glass bowls. This one has, I think, one broken one, but the rest of them are not broken. And then I looked inside of this box and one side is all shattered, but they didn't even open the box. And this other side is brand new, perfectly fine. And then I see some other stuff kind of buried underneath. So I'm gonna take a look, it's really cold. My hands are freezing. So I'm gonna see what we can find. Okay, I'm doing some digging and I pulled up this really nice lamp and it has like a big piece of marble at the bottom. And then there's a dog toy here. Looks like it is all broken up. And so far, I'm pulling out a bunch of really cool stuff. This, they threw out this entire set because this was chipped, but these actual mugs are all perfectly intact. Okay, from Tuesday morning, starting off with these little things. They say write, inspire, and create. And you can put like pencils or any like little odds and ends for a desk really cute and they're not broken this is a mug they threw the whole box away one was broken but they didn't even open it up there's a cake cover and then some little bowls one of them is broken but the rest are not there's a this can be used as a christmas decoration but it says it was a cheese board knife set but i only found this piece this lamp is really pretty it has a big piece of marble at the bottom but i think what happened was the lampshade might have broken so they threw the whole thing away some mugs and then a couple of pumpkin butter holders and then of course the cutting board as well so pretty cool score from tuesday morning quick stop at my kirkland's there's just a few small things in here snowman with the broken arm and then there's a it looks like a christmas ornament this one doesn't look broken i did see it down in the corner a picture frame i can't really see it on camera but it is sliced same thing when you come to this side there's another one right here but they did slash this one as well so both of these are destroyed Okay, I'm at my Burlington, and there's actually a couple of bags in here. They look like some return damage bags, so I'm gonna grab these, see what we can find. I'm gonna take them somewhere else. Okay, this is the Burlington bag. So this is the first one, and so far, there's a sports bra, and it looks like oh, another bra. It's like a set of bras, and then some shapewear. It's like one of those 
body suit, body shapers. Looks like a bunch of men's socks. And Christmas earrings. It looks like one of them. They're supposed to be snowman, but one of them, one of the little balls popped off. And bag number two has another bra, some kid stuff. I found like a kid shirt, some kid socks, hat, and then this looks like a dog toy. <laughs> Popper toys. And it's like a purse, which is kind of cool. Some candies, more baby stuff. It's like pacifiers. Oh, another body shaper. So there's a corset. It's been a while since I found some Burlington stuff, so this is pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed.